Hey everyone, welcome back to Makeup by May. Today I will be answering your septum piercing questions. Woo! Anyways, before I start this, I should probably let you guys know that all this is based on my experience and what happened to me during my septum piercing. Um, I should also tell you guys that if you guys are really considering to get this piercing, you should watch lots of YouTube videos um, on it just to be more informed and stuff because I know I'm probably actually I'm not the only one who's made YouTube videos on septum piercings so let's get started um first of all what is a septum piercing okay well to start off a septum is um the thin walls of cartilage that runs down the center of your nose separating your left and right nostril and um, where you get your septum pierced is not actually in the cartilage, it's in the, the space of tissue that's there, and that's called the sweet spot. So, <laughs> you, can't, you can't see it on my nose, but, you know, it's, it's not in the cartilage, it's in a soft spot of tissue. Um, so yeah, it, that should get pierced, not any of the cartilage, otherwise it's going to be wrong, and it'll probably turn out crooked. <laughs> Just so you guys know. Um, another question I got a lot was, did it hurt? On a scale of 1 to 5, I'd have to say it was a 1.5 because uh, my piercer had been piercing for at least 10 years already and she didn't need a clamp or anything to do my piercing. So she kind of just, she sterilized everything beforehand before I even walked in the shop and she took the needle and she angled it and put it through so um it was virtually painless like it was just a pinch when the needle actually like first started going in my nose and then after that it just slid through it was kind of like I know this is going to sound really weird but it was kind of like the needle was going through jello but that's the way I'm going to explain it <laughs> um so yeah it really didn't hurt a lot and even if it does hurt it's just for a second and then it's over. And people should really consider that because if it's something you really, really want to get with any type of piercing or anything really, then you should go get it. Don't worry about the pain because it's going to be over right before you know it and you're going to get something that you really love. So go do it. Why not? Um, okay, I know this, is, this question is going to be asked a lot. Um, mine is actually a 16. So this is what a 16 looks like. Um, okay, what else do I have? I actually have like a list of notes, it's a really, I don't know if you can see that, it's a really, really messy, um, but I wanted to get everything in for you guys. Um, okay, so, aftercare. So, after the pain and whatnot, um, you will experience some burning, maybe in your nose. I know after I got my septum pierced that I kind of, um, uh, my temperature rose a little bit and I, I, I'm assuming that's the adrenaline because I've read about that and but it really wasn't that bad for me it wasn't a shock or anything I got a pierce and I walked out and I was like well that wasn't so bad but yeah so it usually takes four to eight weeks to fully heal for a septum piercing and what you need to do during that time is take um, q-tips and warm salt water uh, this having salt water is like crucial it has to be sea salt um, to clean it. So basically you just take a q-tip, you dip it in that, and then you clean the, um, the inside of your nose where you, your piercing is. And you should do that at least twice a day, just to make sure it's clean. Um, oh, fun fact, <laughs> the septum piercing is actually considered the least painful piercing of all the facial piercings. So, just keep that in mind. Um, okay, I have, um, four rules for you to have a good healing process when it comes to your septum piercing. So the first rule is listen to your piercer's instructions. When they are talking after you get your piercing, please, please listen to them because they know best and they want your piercing to heal properly. Uh, number two is keep it clean. Nobody wants some crusty, dirty piercing and that's more um, of a threat of infection if you don't clean it, so keep up the cleanliness. <laughs> um, number three is do not constantly touch and fiddle with your piercing. Um, if you do, 
it'll just, especially when you first get your septum pierced, um, you're risking uh, making it crooked or doing something to it or infection again. Number four is wash your hands. Before you touch your piercing or anywhere near there, make sure your hands are clean. Um, because that's one of the biggest factors to why people get infections after their piercing. So yeah, listen to all four of those rules and you'll be good, I promise. So, another person asked, how do you know if it's infected? Okay, so the signs of infection are redness, swelling and hardness, um, thick, dark, yellow or green discharge. If you think your septum piercing is infected, do not take out the jewelry. If you do, you're going to make it a lot worse. Because, okay, so a septum piercing is like this, and say for example if you had stuff coming out or whatever, you'd have to slide it out this way, which would put more bacteria in the open wound. So think about that. And, um, piercers actually suggest to first um, do, um, a sea salt soak to see if that does anything, but you should let your piercer know anyways that you might think it's infected. Okay, um, what else do I got here? Okay, so another thing is you should not remove your piercing or um, change the jewelry before it's uh, before the four to eight weeks because you may screw it up and you may lose the piercing, so please do not do that. Um, also, if there are people out there who have seasonal allergies, I would suggest not getting your septum pierced around that time because if you're sneezing and stuff and you're blowing your nose, that's just more chance of infection and it'll be not fun <laughs> for you, so yeah. Um, Oh yeah, and because it's essential to have a clean nose um, while you're going through the healing process, especially for a septum piercing or any kind of nose piercing. Um, okay, so after you get your septum pierced, um, there might be slight pain in your nose, uh, especially at the tip of your nose, because if you get yours pierced and you do this, obviously it's gonna hurt. I remember one time, I was trying to change my shirt and I actually <laughs> got it caught on my nose and I spent the most painful five minutes of my life trying to fix it. So don't do that. Someone else also asked me if it hurts to flip it up or flip your jewelry up right away. Um, really I wouldn't suggest um, coming out with uh, your piercing like this and then two days later deciding to flip it up and keep it like that because that could seriously mess up your piercing and it, it that just wouldn't be good because it could come out crooked and you don't want that. So I think that is pretty much it. So I'm just gonna go on and say guys if you really want this piercing um, I really think you guys should go get it because I've wanted this piercing for four years and I finally got mine on the 29th of August of this year and I'm so psyched I got it. Like, I'm so glad. And I know a lot of people are probably watching this and are really nervous about going in to get their piercing or whatever. I know I was. I spent um, months, years looking up YouTube videos on septum piercings and trying to find more about them. and. Honestly, it isn't that bad. Like, your piercer is going to be really, probably going to comfort you if you're really nervous, because I know mine did. And um, really, it's not even 10 seconds of pain if, you're, if that's what you're scared of, and then it's over. And then all you have to do is keep it clean and you've got your piercing. And if other people are out there and they're worried about what other people are going to think, you really shouldn't be worried because other people have their own opinion and if it's yours then you should do it because you are who you are and you shouldn't change for other people because of what they think so be yourself anyways I'm going to end the video here because it's probably really long and I'm sorry <laughs> if you guys were like the whole time but yeah there you go, there's some information. If you have any other questions that I may not have answered in this video, 
uh, comment below and let me know. But thanks for watching. I love you guys and bye!